This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, and to find out how you can volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. This is the true story of Christmas. Taken from the World English Bible and read by Acclivity for LibriVox.org on December the 6th, 2006, in Sussex, England. Now in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. Having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favoured one, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. But when she saw him, she was greatly troubled at the saying, and considered what kind of salutation this might be. The angel said to her, Don't be afraid, Mary, for you have found favour with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb, and bring forth a son, and will call his name Jesus. He will be great, and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob for ever. There will be no end to his kingdom. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, seeing I am a virgin? The angel answered her, The Holy Spirit will come on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore also the Holy One who is born from you will be called the Son of God. Behold, Elizabeth, your relative, also has conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month with her who was called barren. For everything spoken by God is possible. Mary said, Behold, the hand made of the Lord, be it to me according to your word. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was like this, for after his mother Mary was engaged to Joseph, before they came together, she was found pregnant by the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, being a righteous man and not willing to make her a public example, intended to put her away secretly. But when he thought about these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, don't be afraid to take to yourself Mary, your wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. She shall bring forth a son, you shall call his name Jesus for it is he who shall save his people from their sins. Now all this happened, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Behold, the virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is, being interpreted, God with us. Joseph arose from his sleep, and did as the angel of the Lord commanded him, and took his wife to himself, and didn't know her sexually until she had brought forth her firstborn son. He named him Jesus. Now it happened in those days, 
that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be enrolled. This was the first enrolment made when Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to enrol themselves, every one to his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and family of David, to enrol himself with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him as wife, being pregnant. It happened, while they were there, that the day had come when she should give birth. She brought forth her firstborn son, and she wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a feeding trough, because there was no room for them in the inn. There were shepherds in the same country, staying in the field, and keeping watch by night over their flock. Behold, an angel of the Lord stood by them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. The angel said to them, Don't be afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy, which will be to all the people. For there is born to you this day, in the city of David, a Saviour, who is Christ the Lord. This is the sign to you. You will find a baby, wrapped in strips of cloth, lying in a feeding trough. Suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly army, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, on earth peace, good will toward men. It happened when the angels went away from them into the sky, that the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem now and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. They came with haste, and found both Mary and Joseph, and the baby who was lying in the feeding trough. When they saw it, they publicised widely the saying which was spoken to them about this child. All who heard it wondered at the things which were spoken to them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these sayings, pondering them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, just as it was told them. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him. Without him was not anything made that has been made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness hasn't overcome it. There came a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came as a witness, that he might testify about the light that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but was sent that he might testify about the light. The true light, that enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world didn't recognise him. He came to his own and those who were his own didn't receive him. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become God's children, to those who believe in his name, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. The word became flesh, and lived among us. We saw his glory, such glory as of the one and only Son of the Father, 
full of grace and truth. John testified about him. He cried out, saying, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me has surpassed me, for he was before me. From his fullness we all received grace upon grace. For the law was given through Moses, grace and truth were realised through Jesus Christ. No one has seen God at any time. The one and only Son, who is in the bosom of the Father, he has declared him. This is the end of the true story of Christmas, taken from the World English Bible.